Hey guys, um, so I wanted to make a video real quick just explaining my pan that palette type thing I'm doing next year. I don't know if this is already like a thing or if I'm just, if I just made this up. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm gonna like call it because it's kind of a pan that palette but also not. Um, and like some people pan a palette by like finishing it which is not gonna be my goal. Um, but some people just hit pan in shadows so I don't really know. Anyways, my thing is that I want to hit pan in at least one shade from all of my palettes next year or this year, 2018, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go through all my palettes and I'm going to kind of give the starting point. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I don't really see the value in me completely using up a shadow or a whole like palette because I really do like enjoy all my palettes. Um, I have 14, I believe there's one that I'm not going to be including in this. Um, I'll get to that. But, like, I don't, I don't, like, I get if you want to use up a whole palette, like, I think that's super cool, but for me, like, if I just hit pan, that's cool. I feel like I've used the palette enough, and usually when I'm using one shade in a palette, I'm more apt to use the rest of the palette, so that's cool. I'm sorry I'm saying that's cool so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so... This is just really an attempt to make sure that I'm using all of my palettes, um, not just like focusing on one, like I use Modern Renaissance almost every day of my life because it's my favorite palette and I wear almost exclusively red eyeshadow most of the time. So this is kind of um, to make sure everything's getting some use and I also like will learn what kind of formulas I like more. Like I have, um, I currently have pan in almost all of my palettes in at least one shade which was kind of my goal this year without saying that was my goal this year. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's get into this. So the first palette, I'm not going to be hitting pan on. So this isn't the first palette. Um, this is a BH Cosme Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette. I just think it's really cool looking and that's kind of why I bought it. And I know I would never hit pan in any of these shades. I use this a couple times, like, I've, I got this in the summer, and I think I've used this three times since then, but I really bought it just because I think it looks cool, so that's not going to count. Um, I'm also not going to set specific goals for which shadow in each palette that I'm going, that I want to hit pan on, but some of them I pretty much have an idea of which one I'm going to go for. Like, some of them will need a little more planning involved, um, which I'll get there. Okay, let's just, let's start from my oldest palette. I have the Naked One. I currently have Pan in two shades. Um, there we go. Um, this one is Virgin and Naked. I don't know which one I want to hit Pan on in this. I'm kind of thinking um, Buck, Half Baked, or Toasted. We'll see. This one I use, I've had this for three years, I think. Um, but three years might be four. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. But um, I used this recently, and it was nowhere near as good as I remember, which a lot of people say. So if I can like hit pan in one of these, that'd be pretty cool. But I'm gonna have to make sure it's one that like I think is still good quality. Um, so the next palette is Naked Three. I'm sorry, I'm getting these like lines over here. Maybe I should fix that. But whatever. I currently have pan in Strange. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Trick, whoops, because I think this one is really cool. I also super like, um, Liar. This one, I'm not really sure yet, because I get really hyped up about the Naked 3 for like a week. I'll be like, oh my gosh, the Naked 3 is my favorite palette. And then I'll get sick of wearing just pink shades. But I found a way to wear Trick that I really like it with other palettes involved. So I think that's the one I'm gonna go for, but we'll see. Um, uh, okay. I'll just go through my Urban Decay ones. So next I have the Ammo Palette. I currently have Pan in Mildew and Last Call. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to try and go for in this one. Maybe, I think Maui Waui. I think that's the one I'm going to use because I really do like that shade. Um, and I think it'll be doable. Sin is also pretty nice, but I have that in the Naked one and I don't use it there. So why would I use it in here? Um, but yeah. That's where I'm at with that guy. 
Uh, okay. Next, I have the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. I have Pan in two shades right now. This guy and this guy. And I think I'm going to end up hitting Pan in this one up here. I don't know what its name is. Um, I have a pretty big dip already. I love this palette. I didn't really like it as much until I took it on vacation with me this summer and I used it for like three or four weeks straight. Um, but yeah, that one shouldn't be too hard and I'm pretty sure that's the shade I'll hit pan on. Um, so I have the Swamp Queen Tarte palette. Uh, I'm like the only person in the world that still likes this palette, I think, but I also don't use it that much anymore. I already have pan in three shades. Uh, and I think what I'm gonna do is try and hit pan on this one, which is Natural Peaches. So we'll see how that goes. I have a pretty big dip in there already. A lot of these are ones that I know I'll hit pan on. It just needs to happen. You know what I mean? Now I'm saying? Alright, I'll go through my two little wet and wild guys. I have the Comfort Zone palette. Can't open it. I have pan in three of these shadows already, and I think I'm gonna go for the um, brow bone shade up here, cause that one's pretty close already. I really do love this palette though. It's totally worth the $5. Um, I also have Petal Pusher. I don't know which one I'm gonna try and hit pan on in this. I really don't know. I already have pan in one, um, but we'll see. It'll probably be one of these guys. So, yeah, that'll be a fun surprise. Um, okay. Let's do, I have the Meat Matrimony. This is one that's definitely going to take some planning because, um, well, I have pan in two of these already. And these are the deepest pans I've ever used. And it took me, like, two months of solid using this, like, every single day of my life to hit pan. So, I'm going to need to, like, focus on one shade, I think, and make sure I use it at least, like, a couple times a week or so. I'm probably going to end up going for the middle one because I wear a lot of red eyeshadow. Um, actually, I'm probably definitely going to use that. I really like a lot of the shades in this, but I just never, never reach for it. Um, but maybe this will help me, you know? I'm also one of those people that will use like four or five palettes at a time. Like, I'm not one of those people that's like, my entire look needs to come from this one palette. I don't see the value in that, unless you're traveling. Um, but if I'm already home and they're all sitting right next to me, why not use all of them? You know? I don't know. Um, I have the Shade and Light Eye Palette. I currently have Pan in two shades i'm currently working on this one so i'll definitely have pan in that soon i'll probably also have pan in these guys by the end and the goal is to hit at least pan, pan in at least one shade in each palette so if i hit pan in more of them that would be pretty cool um my last four are all the um abh palettes that i own hey these are my favorite formula um I have the Master Palette, which was limited edition. I have Pan in two shades already, and I'm pretty close on this one. And I just, I like this palette a lot. So I think that if I use it, like I love all these matte shades, but I also have matte shades like these in other palettes. So I know if I used those in this palette, I'd have Pan like instantly, but yeah, we'll see. Um... Um, I'm sorry I'm like this. My Child, The Light of My Life, Modern Renaissance. I have Pan in three shades right now. And almost... This one's close, this one's close, this one's close, this one's close. That one I'll have Pan on. Yeah, I'll have Pan in many, many shades in this by the end of next year. I am 100% certain. I'm shocked. I got this in April and I can't believe I don't have more Pan. I'm really gentle with it though. It's my child. Um, so all of those I had for most of last year. So I have pan in all these, but the last two are more new and I don't have pan in them yet. One of them is subculture, which people, you know, um, I actually like it. I have, I'm a little scared of this palette. Um, so I have to be super careful when I use it and I also have no clue which one I'm gonna try and hit pan on um, I don't think I'd have a problem hitting pan on all-star or um, Adorn 
probably. Also, I love Edge. So, I don't know. That's why I didn't try and hit pan on this this year. Even though I've had it for like six months. I just... I, I know people hit pan on it like literally like on their first use. And I'd rather just like be super gentle with it and take my time. And like I know they weren't like digging to like hit the bottom or anything. You guys know what I mean? Like um, I just... I'm a little... This one scares me a little because I know how pigmented it is and I know it's more like straight pigment rather than like the stuff that helps you blend in the formula. So I like to be very careful with this. So when I use it, I just like set my brush in so, so gently. Um, that's, that's, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on it, but we're gonna take our sweet time and not have to mess up my entire look because of this palette okay and the last sorry there's like something in it now what are you oh duh, it's a little hmm. the last palette that i literally have had for about 24 hours is this guy my best friend gave me him and he's beautiful and i don't know which one i'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hit pan on but we've got the whole year I that's what I'm wearing right now um so I don't really I, I already know I really like I like this more than subculture um this one doesn't have the same like blending issues that subculture has so we're gonna give it some love and we'll see got the whole year um the glare is moving into my my face so those are all my palettes um I don't think I had anything else I wanted to say about that but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that <laughs> yeah so if anyone else is doing something similar to this rather than like trying to finish an entire palette but get the use out of all of their palettes let me know I'd definitely be interested in watching some of those videos uh, I'm gonna put like pictures of my beginning um, like, my progress as of now, like, where, what my palette looks like at this minute, um, at the end of this video, and I don't know if I'll add, like, the same pictures throughout, like, all of the updates, um, we'll see. I also don't know how often I'm gonna be updating, um, I'd like to say, like, every two months or so, but we'll see how crazy my life gets, the uh in the spring semester all right i think that's it so thanks for watching guys um subscribe if you're interested in like following along with this i'm pretty excited uh like i was unofficially doing this last year and i made really good progress and i um i'll probably end up doing smaller project pans throughout the year and putting like specific shades that I figure out I want to hit pan on into those projects which is what I did with my 12 products of Christmas um that I just filmed so yeah thanks for watching and have a great day